It is one of the biggest honors of my life today to introduce a leader that I think grasps where the future is and is able to enable a country, partner with other countries, and change the world. I have met probably 40 of the top leaders around the world over 35 years in leadership. And the very first time I met the Prime Minister, he was different. He had an energy that was amazing. He had an understanding of technology and how technology was going to enable a country. And then he did something that is really unusual. He connected a vision to a strategy to what are the priorities to get it done to outcomes. And when he outlined his digital India strategy to me and asked for feedback, it was perfect for the future. He based his economy inclusion of all the people in India of 1.4 billion today <laughs> on the ability to bring the power of technology to them, to change their lives, to enable them to participate in what would be the largest economic growth of any company, country over the next decade. I want to be very upfront. As most of you know, I have been the biggest optimist, the biggest bull on India's future, not in one or two years but for the last decade since he came into the leadership. I am the Prime Minister's biggest supporter, and I always have been. Honored to be his friend, but also watch a man who has the ability to outline a strategy and then make it happen. People often ask, what was so unique? What is so unique about this person that changes countries? and I believe would change the world over time. He has an ability to inspire hope, to make us believe on what's possible. <laughs> he then has the ability to build confidence on what the future can be. Then he is amazingly good on execution and getting his team and other teams to port to our common goal. And then most important, he gets results. Many in America have a very positive view of India and the Prime Minister, but they really don't understand how far this country's come in the last decade. The country has moved from a very slow follower, where the government was very bureaucratic and very, very slow moving and rigid and not a dreamer, to the most innovative country in the world. It shows up in the economic results, where the country has moved from number 10 in the world to number five, and as the Prime Minister said, in the next couple of years, number three. <laughs> However, I'm usually pretty good at getting market transitions and being accurate on connecting the dots for the future. India will become the number one economy in the world. <laughs> and it will do so under the plans and programs the Prime Minister is putting in place. When you look at really leadership, Leadership is made up of three component parts, in my opinion. It's your currency. It's first about your track record. And the track record of the Prime Minister in India over the last decade is an envy of the entire world, an example and a model for all of us to follow. Secondly, it's the ability to form relationships. This leader can form relationships with leaders around the world, with Democrats and Republicans, A little bit of southern humor there. But also, he instills trust. And often when people come together and say, here's what we can do together in the future, it is all about trust. Do you trust me? Do you trust the other side that both of us will deliver? When people ask me that question, I have one simple answer. I would trust this leader with my life. So today, you're going to hear one of the great visionaries of the future who also knows how to execute. You're going to hear he'll be very humble. He's a very kind person. But you also hear a vision for what I believe will make India the number one economy. You're going to hear a vision of how two countries can partner together in a way that no two countries ever have in history to work toward a common goal that will be to the benefit of every one of our citizens in India and in the United States, but also the benefit to the world.